Hello WCHS, it's Emma Stroner here. And Xavier Adams. As you all know, it's Thanksgiving and everybody's bringing out the turkeys and celebrating with their family. But first, the foremost, it's about being thankful. That is very true. I am very thankful for so much, but first, we'll be back after this. I know one of the things I'm most thankful for is food. Agreed. After all, it is one of the best things about this time of the year. Do you have a favorite Thanksgiving food? Although this is a very popular opinion, I would have to say the turkey. I like the side dishes, like stuffing or cranberry sauce. They often go underappreciated. That's true. I guess I never really thought about the side dishes feelings. Florence is going to bring our attention to one of these side dishes. Good morning, WCHS. We're here in my kitchen, and you know that Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And we know it's about being thankful, but deep down inside, it's 10 out of 10 all about the food. So today, I'll be showing you how to finesse mashed potatoes. So first, you're going to grab your potatoes and a cutting board and a knife or potato peeler. Then, when you're done peeling your potatoes, put the potato peels in a plastic bag. Then cut your potatoes into fourths. Make sure you are being careful cutting the potatoes. When done, put your potatoes in a bowl and wash them, then place them into a pot. Next, you are going to place water into the pot and fill the pot until the potatoes are covered. Make sure you clean up any mess you make. Place your pot on a stove. Put the stove on high heat. Then when done, put potatoes into a colander to get the water out. You can use a whisk or a potato masher to mash your potatoes. Then mash your potatoes a little bit and then add Philadelphia cheese in the potatoes and then mix that up. Add a spoonful of butter and add black pepper to the mix. You are done. Voila! I hope you enjoyed the finessing of my mashed potatoes, and I hope you bring it to your table Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. This has been Florence York, reporting for WCTV. Wow, I'm sure going to try making those potatoes now. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a great dish to bring to Thanksgiving dinner. Besides food, what else are you thankful for, Xavier? I'm thankful for my family. They are very caring and loving. I am very thankful for my family as well. From day one, they have been very supportive and providing. I heard there is a wide variety of people who have different things they are thankful for throughout the school. There is so much to be thankful for this holiday. Dylan has caught up with some people from WCHS to see what they are thankful for this Turkey Day. What's up WCHS, I'm Dylan Merganzel. I have one question for you. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for how dumb all my friends are. I'm thankful for Ricky. Spicy memes. I'm thankful for my friends and family and everything they've done. What I am thankful for is my dad being in the Navy and serving for everyone to be the rights in the America. All right, I am thankful for the great friends and family I have in my life. Those are some unique things people are thankful for. It's awesome to pe see people aren't just thankful for small things like shopping. Shopping can be fun though, especially when there's sales. Sales? Wait a minute, tomorrow's Black Friday. I totally forgot. Black Friday? What is that? Honestly, it's been a while since I've been Black Friday shopping. Mackenzie has a feature all about Black Friday and people's experiences during the busy day to refresh our memory.
Hey WCHS, I'm Mackenzie Burney. Black Friday is a great way to get a discount on the thing you want the most. I've caught up with three WCHS students to see what they got on Black Friday. When Black Friday shopping, I like to go with my mom and dad, as well as my significant other and friends. I had to wait in a line for an hour because I was getting a gift, a video game for my sister. I normally go to Kohl's or TJ Maxx. The cheapest thing that I can remember buying was a watch, and it was definitely $32, and it was so worth the purchase. No, I do not enjoy the chaos because it's just really crazy and people push a lot. I specifically go to those stores because I can always find really good deals, and I like it. No, I have never been Black Friday shopping out of state, but if I were to, I would either go to Arizona to buy a cactus or Florida to buy a palm tree. My family likes to go to Walmart. They, they have basic good sales, good clothes, shoes. The worst thing that I bought was a dress. It was $50, and it did not look good on me, and I just hated it. So. Wow, they sure do have some interesting stories about their Black Friday experience. This has been Mackenzie Burney reporting for WCTV. Thank you, Mackenzie. Although Black Friday is coming up, what else is Xavier? There is no school today the 22nd, or tomorrow, because it is Thanksgiving break. This year seems like it's been going on forever, and it's only Thanksgiving. I know. I really need a break. I have a lot of things, uh, uh, studies, and lots of homework. Need something to pop up your studies? The Media Center has you covered. Popcorn will be served for 25 cents a bag. Tasty. What days will it be served? Every Friday, so it's definitely something to look forward to. Along with pepping up our studies, we need to also pep up our school spirits for which sports starting. You got that right. We will have a lot of games this upcoming week. On Saturday, the 24th, there will be a girls' 9th JV and varsity basketball game in Boone at 12 p.m. And at home, there will be a 9th girls' and boys' basketball games against Iowa Falls Alden at 6.30 p.m. on Monday, the 26th. On Tuesday, there will be JV and Varsity Boys and Girls Basketball Games at Pocahontas beginning at 4.30 p.m. So make sure you get out there and support the Lynx. I know I will. Basketball cheer is starting up, and I'm pumped. On Wednesday, November 28th, at 7.45 p.m., there will be a Shift Happens meeting at the Intandrum Workspace. It is open to any students in 9th grade through 12th grade. Any student who wishes to join us is welcome. Our students are really getting out there. In sports and academics alike. Two of our Lynx, two of our Lynx seniors have made Iowa Prince Writers Association All-State teams. Both in Class 3A, Dylan Steen is a first-team defensive back and Austin awesome Lippman is, third, is a third-team offensive lineman. Hopefully they won't actually be playing outside. It's going off the recent weather. It's going to be, continue to be a cold, out, cold one out there. It has been cold this November so far, and I'm sure it'll continue to be this holiday weekend. Let's see exactly how cold it will be with ex Zach. Hello, WCHS, and thank you, anchors. This Friday is going to be very cold when you are standing in line for your Black Friday deals with a high of only 44 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. The winds will be out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The skies are rainy, which will make the road slick, so be careful when driving. Saturday will follow the pattern for this weekend set by Friday with mostly sunny skies and a freezing low of 28 degrees and a high of only 46. The winds are blowing from the southwest at 8 to 12 miles per hour. Will definitely be enough to ensure that I'm cozy and warm. Sunday is going to be even more of a shift from fall to winter with a high of only 31 degrees and a chilly low of 17. The winds will be blowing from the northeast at 11 to 16 miles per hour are going to make it feel much colder. Looks like we are gearing up for a very cold winter. Thank you, Zach. Next week's show will be brought to you by Jacob and Maywellen. With Tyler as your new weatherman. This has been Emma Stroner. And Xavier Adams. Thanks for watching WCTV. See you next time.